advice. If the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good morning, I'm Dean Hernandez. Welcome to Business Portal on Thursdays at 9.30 to 10.30. This is Pinoy Matters. And this morning, as we are in the week that starts a new school year, and we're uh, at the eve of a new presidential administration, I have with us Myra Santos, uh, Business Processing Call Center, management specialist she's a consultant and has uh, done this industry for several years welcome myra good morning miss dean and good morning to the viewers of gnn well this morning the topic of pinoy matters really is to discuss and share with you what does it take to fulfill the philippines ambition to be number two to India when it comes to business processing, outsourcing, BPOs, as the term goes, and call centers. Uh, how do we prepare ourselves to have as much Filipino talent in those industries, not only here in our islands of the Philippines, but also exportable to the world? So, Myra, uh, let's start with you first. Can you tell our audience of the GNN and Global Destiny how you started to evolve as a resource for the business processing industry? Well, um, I started in 1999. Um, before, I was in um, actually um, retail. But um, since there was, I've heard of call centers, and I tried my, my, my luck because they said that you have to be very good in English. Which you are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she's Filipina, although she has other nationalities uh, and uh, race running in her veins. <laughs> I call her Whitney Houston because she's a dead ringer, and when she, she sings, she would be as if you were listening to her. <laughs> Thank you very much. But uh, like I was saying, I was uh, curious if I would uh, make the cut because all, they said as long as you're uh, good in speaking English, then you, you will get the job. So mm -hmm. I did get the job for America Online Philippines before. For uh, what position and uh, uh, function? It was, it was an Asian post. But what is an agent? A call center agent or yes. a processing email agent? Uh, they, they called us call center agents before, but or actually a uh, contact center. Contact, because it's not voice. Yeah, it okay. was not voice with AOL. It was uh, just email, chat, um, um, support services. AOL, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, stands for American Online. Mm -hmm. This is one of the pioneering uh, call center uh, entities in the Clark Eco Zone, mm -hmm. um, and they were located at the Voice of America uh, facility that yes. was left by the Americans in the Clark Air Base. Yes, mm -hmm. that was the facility. So I started as an agent. Um, uh, there were we were called tech mail agents. Ah, because, tech mail, okay, yeah, because it's email. Support, yeah. Okay, that was support. the that mm -hmm. was the first tech support um, in the mm. industry but now yes. as we know uh, tech support uh, are has many variations yeah. now yes. uh, they actually talk to the customers but before uh, we just uh, email the okay the can responses. we give our global destiny GNN audiences um, what kind of email uh, business processing what, what happens in American Online or AOL that you process things not on voice or a call center mm -hmm. mode, but you correspond with the AOL at that time, 22 million clients, yes, no? Yes. For what? For their software, the AOL software. It's, uh, it, it also is an ISP in the States. So Wait. 
terms. <laughs> ISP means? <laughs> internet service provider. Okay. Yes. So uh, uh -huh. they're also a, uh, an internet service provider as well as they, they also um, package the software when you use uh, their services. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, having been part of the team that evolved business processing in the country, I was representing uh, Senator Magsaysay who authored our e-commerce law and so I served with uh, Senator Mar Rojas and Asik Toby uh, Monsod when we helped create what we call now as Business Processing Association of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I was part of the team with Bong Borja, Miguel Garcia, uh, Judo Bonifacio the, and Karen Batumbakal. We started what was called the Contact Federation yes. of the Philippines simply because AOL and uh, maybe Sykes at that time were doing tech support. If you bought a Windows uh, software mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or an AOL software, then like me who are uh, internet challenged uh, <laughs> beings, especially people under 30, over 30, uh, you need to talk to a warm body to explain to you how. Yes. And that was how you did it. But Yes. It was through the through internet. Yeah. yeah, it was not voice. Through okay. Email. Yeah, I think uh, the challenge with the email is not a lot of people like to read instructions. Yes, like me. <laughs> I rather listen. Because what we sent uh, the, the uh, customers of AOL wa uh, mm, were mm -hmm. um, uh, instructions on how to troubleshoot. Exactly, problems. but see, Filipinos are very audiovisual. Mm -hmm. I've been a training resource for the country, and mind you, we are kinesthetic, and we have to see how it's done. Exactly, uh, we have to be told how it's done, and somebody has to handhold and spank me when say <laughs> you're not doing it right. Okay. Yes, I think uh -huh. that, that that's a human uh, um, thing, or it's innate everybody wants to talk to somebody if a warm they, body yes, yes if they want mm. to know something yeah uh, about uh, a, a, anything a, a, anything uh, yeah yes. right so, uh -huh. uh, that uh -huh. that uh, evolved into call centers people wanted to talk to somebody yes else. and remember ladies and gentlemen in the year 2000 we were really not aware but there were already 15 companies um, Sykes included that uh, was already doing this tech support quietly because of course you have to keep your clients confidential and there were only 15,000 call center agents at this time and I'm really very proud to be dubbed as the mother of call centers in the country because today we have over 400,000 call center agents alone Love not that. to mention animation and the other uh, pillars of the industry of business processing and at that time there were only 15 companies we now have over a uh, 300 yes so correct. that's the kind of uh, job creation we would like to do mm -hmm. in support of the new leadership and uh, credit also to president gma she was our number one salesperson when it came to call centers that's true yeah that's true. every time she would go out of uh, the country she would it, be insured uh, to bring home a contract bringing a business processing company like the ones we have now over 300 of them from the original 15. Wow, so awesome. anyway go ahead with your <laughs> story my going back well, like i said because people wanted to really interact uh, or talk to somebody else. Uh, I, th I think that started the the voice. The voice. Call centers. Yes, the voice call centers. The actual call centers. Um, uh -huh. um, but at that time, because um, in the states there are uh, people just wanted to just stay home and shop. Yes. Okay. So um, we had a lot of different um, clients for so online shopping, on, online uh, shopping, okay. yes. even home uh -huh. TV shopping in the states. So yes. Uh -huh. uh, so people called to buy stuff that they saw on TV that was on. And sale. I think the example that we have is the success of Amazon.com, mm -hmm. where you would literally have a business that doesn't have a warehouse, but they are able to deliver all sorts of books and records by just do going online correct, which is correct. still not as fashionable among Filipinos but being a proponent of uh, virtual presence and 
really I honestly feel that if we can make it fashionable to uh, allow Filipinos to buy more things online then I think there's a lot more Filipinos now that buy oh definitely and, and years ago if you didn't have a credit card it's very difficult mm -hmm. but now I think we have PayPal yes. you have facilities like the visa prepaid and all that um, even it Western is, Union. Yeah, it's also. now easier for anyone in the planet mm -hmm. to buy without having to have a credit card, which sometimes is very difficult for us to get approved for one, mm -hmm. especially the uh, middle class and uh, the CD classes. But they are just as excited to get something online yes. on the internet. But ladies and gentlemen, the good news is now you can. Yes. Okay. And from uh, from that, uh, uh, the call centers, uh, there were there was a new company that started in Clark, where I started with AOL, which was called Cyber City Teleservices. Mm -hmm. so Tell us how you <laughs> rose from the ranks and <laughs> how you started to help someone very close to you produce the Cyber City International School call center agent modules so when when i started uh it was year 2000 actually miss <coughs> dean hernandez is the one that interviewed me because i think um some of some of the agents were intimidated i thought they thought that i was a foreigner yeah you look like one yeah, i told you you're a dead ringer for uh i could hear with them, me used <laughs> i could hear them say no no wag na siya. <laughs> Give her to Miss Dean. So Miss <laughs> Dean interviewed me, and I got the job. Uh, uh -huh. And from there, we worked with uh, uh, with Miss Dean, and of course, uh, the cyber cyber city um, management, management yes. uh, uh -huh. uh, worked on a module mm -hmm. um, to start training people mm -hmm. on how to become a call center agent. Yeah, that was a twenty one day module, and um, I personally trained with Myra the first 1500 agents after which she and nine other trainers were produced out of that program mm -hmm. and our uh, principal George Sorio and Mr. Jonathan Rosenberg um, gave access to at least how many state colleges and universities via satellite we were beaming mm -hmm. that to other cities because the mandate of Senator Magsaysay at that time said uh, Dean try to spread the wealth try to give as many provinces the opportunity to be competent yeah. in call centering and that was the beautiful thing that happened and that's why we are w where we are today that's true yeah. and um. because we were just nine at the time uh, <coughs> we uh, we made uh, an instructional video so that if we cannot go to the actual place like Iloilo, because mm -hmm. we were sent everywhere uh -huh. to train people, we uh, gave them the CD that instructed them yes. on how to become call center agents as well. See, uh, that was the wonderful story. And just let me share with you. Um, Myra continues to be an uh, American accent trainer for the country. And at that time, uh, one of the things we noticed as trainers is that even if we taught the 21-day module, for you to sound like the way she speaks American English or the way I speak, because I, I studied in Marinol for eight years, mm -hmm. and this is exactly the mid-Atlantic accent that the world looks for. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes the Indian call center agents say, Good morning, welcome to the Philippines. It's very noticeable that they are from India. Yes, that's but the true. Filipino can really adjust. We are so resilient in that sense. No? So, um, in my desperation to have our 1500 agents uh, spar with a true American, I asked our principals, Jonathan Rosenberg. Can you give me a budget to have a pizza afternoon? And can I invite a lot of the retired uh, veterans in Angeles mm -hmm. and its environs to sit down with two of the agents and the Peace Corps volunteer? We serve pizza for two hours. They get to talk physically, actually. Because one thing to know your grammar mm -hmm. and 